Welcome to My Hungry First. I'm Aiden Nursing, and today we're going to we're talk about Aptasia. In my old 90 gallon tank, I eliminated Aptasia with an army of peppermint shrimp. Now, peppermint shrimp are hit or miss as to whether they'll even eat Aptasia. In my experience, you need multiples so that there's food competition so that they'll actually go after the Aptasia. In the 90 gallon, I use six of them. Now remember, these guys are six to eight bucks a piece. So to buy enough to do my 210 display and the two frag tanks would get a little bit pricey. Plus, they don't live that long in my experience in the aquarium. So I also tried vinegar and calcwasser, which I made a video about a few years ago. And I've tried a laser, which I just recently made a video about. None of those methods are quite perfect. They work, but they're not perfect. So I thought I'd try something else. I thought I'd try Aptasia X. Now for some reason, I've just never tried this product before. Aptasia X is actually a glue that you feed to the Aptasia through an injection tubing. And you fill up the Aptasia's oral disc and the Aptasia actually starts to eat it. This does two things. It glues the mouth shut so that it won't release the palanula and it also destroys the Aptasia from the inside. Within a few minutes, it actually starts to destroy itself from the inside. It's unbelievable how effective this stuff is. Also, I've gotten this stuff on my coral and it seemed completely unaffected. Now, I wouldn't want to get this on my rose bubble tip, but so far, I'm impressed. Here's the same spot a week later. So remember how I said it's unbelievably effective? Well, it's only moderately effective. Some of the Aptasia will recover. And here's a group of Aptasia inside a Palithoa colony. With the Kalkwalser mix, this was kind of a hard get because when you go to inject the Aptasia, you run a pretty high risk of damaging the Palithoa colonies. With the Aptasia X, you're able to just squirt it right on top of the Aptasia. The Palithoa seem pretty much unaffected by the Aptasia X. So this gives you the ability to kind of carpet bomb the Aptasia. While maybe you can't get to the mouth of every one, you can actually do some pretty good damage to these guys. And here's that same colony of Palithoa a week later. And as you can see, there's one or two Aptasia still in there, but it is much improved. I think another treatment or two, and I would probably have this one beat. Inside the box of Aptasia X, you get the Aptasia X itself, some instructions, and a syringe with two different style of needles. I'm actually pretty impressed with the Aptasia X. It does a pretty good job of actually killing the anemones. The problem is, is I have to manually find every anemone and feed it the Aptasia X and then maybe give it several treatments to completely kill it. Unfortunately, in a tank my size, with the problem the size of the one I have, finding every Aptasia and killing it is going to be nearly impossible. So Aptasia X for me is going to be a great management tool, but I don't think I'm going to be able to completely rid my tank of Aptasia using Aptasia X. But if you have a smaller problem and you've been smart enough to catch it early and take care of it early, Aptasia X could actually just take care of your tank. But for me personally, I think I'm going to look for a natural predator that can go around, find the Aptasia, kill it, and eliminate it from my tank. Thanks for watching this episode of My Hobby Universe. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.